Hey, what's up everybody? Frank Valkyria here. Good Monday, everyone, everywhere. Today we start the day of reactions with following again Diana Kudinova. We have done many videos of her lately participating in this Russian show, which I think here is the Friday or Saturday. So you guys ask me to follow her performances. We're having a lot of fun seeing this young talent just uh, interpreting songs of also other artists in her own way with her lovely uh, timbre of, of voice, which is so unique. And uh, her tone, the color, everything. It's uh, absolutely uh, a unique singer. The same way you can have uh, Joshen or you can have Marcelita Pomoy or you can have Dimash, you know, all those very, very interesting and absolutely unique artists that we discover thanks to you, thanks to the fact that we can look for it, you know, in many places around the world. And all of a sudden, boom, we get those excellencies. So together, let's watch this song, this video. Most likely it's going to be blurred because this TV show uh, blocks uh, every reaction. So let's watch. Let's listen. Eh? Sounds very familiar this song for some reason either because it's the melody it's like kind of very lullaby style that you kind of predict a little bit where it's going to go with the notes uh, and she, she feels she's quite in a lower part of her range It feels like it could be easily one of those uh, feels like either like late 70s uh, pop, you know, Russian folk pop, you know, probably some artists at the time as, as really that, that kind of lullaby um, flair to it, which, uh, yeah, I mean, in the, I think all of Europe, really, also in Italy, in the 70s and 80s, you had all this pop music more in the 70s which was still kind of orchestral you know but then leading towards the electronic pop of the 80s the start of it and you had all those romantic songs you know uh, i can think of so many artists in italy which uh, made all those really romantic sad songs in that way like ricardo cocciante i think uh well even though it's a little bit earlier than the 70s but i think in russia Correct me if I'm wrong, Toto Cutugno and also Adriano Celentano, they're actually quite popular, at least with, I think, older audience, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, because a friend of mine made me notice this, that Adriano Celentano actually had, I guess, some hits back in the days. Would be really interesting to, you know, you guys react on that. a little bit the 80s guitar going on there and all of a sudden the library which is like the place where knowledge it's been passed down 
thanks to the writing, thanks to words, all of a sudden, all of a, of sudden, all of a sudden opens up because the knowledge sifted into the brain and the universe unfolds in front of us. That's what it is. <laughs> She's so sweet. I'm really enjoying. I mean, fair enough, uh, again, first of all, she's having always fun. Now we know Diana a little bit more and she's always ready to be on stage. Young talent, really capable. Seems like one of those kids that like uh, Angelina Jordan, 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 which they were born, uh, you know, with that kind of awareness, wanting to sing from a very early age. And like I said, this seems the case here too. An 18, she loves being on stage, doesn't matter if it's covers or her own songs, she just does it. And absolutely lucky to have a voice that it's recognizable, unique, different. Whether you like it or not, of course, is something subjective. I think it's incredibly, incredibly nice to find people which they're not average. You know what I mean? Something that it's special. And uh, I, I truly, truly cherish that because it shows how intricate, vast talent is and how, in, how many places exist, which is uh, contrary to what we always believed, you know, or at least what the record labels makes you believe, you know, that what they produce is the best that we can get in terms of artists out there nowadays or in the past. And in the past, of course, many cases it's also fairly true because you know you cannot argue much about frank sinatra elvis presley or freddie mercury queen or led zeppelin those are great but at the same time even in those days probably in a parallel way other talent existed of similar or even more it just they didn't kind of emerge from the darkness so thank you youtube that we can say Actually, it's really a walk in the park for uh, for Diana, this song. It's really a walk in the park. I have the feeling, today I woke up with a really low voice. I have the feeling that this, if this is sang by a man, I might actually try to do a cover of this. Because it feels like th this song kind of benefits from a lower voice, you know? Something like that, I don't know. Let me know who is the original singer of this song, by the way. Diana, always lovely, always ready, absolutely cute and sweet. And we enjoyed this other performance of hers. And you guys, uh, if you are kind enough, let me know who is the, the real composer of this song. And also if you have links to the original, sometimes I like to see what's going on, you know, like in, also to check in between the two versions. So again, it's also nice when a singer, it's not always supposed to show everything they can do. You know what I mean? Sometimes a song may come across a little bit more minimalist. I do that too, actually. In this period, we're doing more songs, which they're kind of much more straightforward, you know? Not so much centered around, oh, I got to use everything I'm capable to do with my voice 
for you know for the sake of yeah just impressing or whatever i don't know but it's sometimes it's just nice to create a song that has a vibe and it's you structure it around the song around the lyrics instead of structuring around yourself you know whether you can sing two octaves or seven you know so in that way i personally enjoy very much those songs you know you get into the mood you you listen if you can understand the lyric of course and uh, you're totally fulfilled guys i talk to you later huh? make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe it's free ciao